What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? This is David here with Mac Tutorials 14. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to change your iOS's default boot logo. Alright guys, first I just wanted to point out that the developer said that it does not work. This does not work on iPhone 2G through 4S and also the iPhone 5C and iPad 1 through 3. He isn't 100% sure about the iPad 4, so he advises everyone not to try it on the iPad 4 as of right now since he does not know um, if it works or not. But go ahead and download Cyberduck. Um, cyberduck.io go ahead and open it up next thing you're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and get up your iOS device so make sure you have your iOS device slide to unlock and go ahead and launch your iOS device I have a black iPhone 5 as, as you guys can see so go ahead and launch Cydia and once you launch Cydia search for the package open SSH so go ahead and install that package so we're gonna go ahead and wait until it boots up here so install open SSH to your device it shouldn't take too long, it should only take like a couple of minutes, and then once you actually go ahead and install that, go ahead and go into settings and go into Wi-Fi. So now we're going to go ahead and do that, so we're going to tap the settings icon, go ahead and go into Wi-Fi, and next tap the little blue eye right next to the uh, Wi-Fi network name, and take note of the IP address. So as you guys can see, my IP address is 192.168.1.7 in this case. So press open connection and scroll down to SFTP, so SSH file transfer protocol. Go ahead and copy in the IP address as noted on your iOS device. So as you guys can see, 192.168.1.7. So we're going to actually go ahead and just um, type that in. And next, the username is root, so R-O-O-T. And the password is, as always, Alpine, A L P. I N E and make sure you have all of that typed in and next thing you want to do is just go ahead and press connect so a l p i n e press connect and as you guys can see it should say change fingerprint just check out always and just press allow and then once you go ahead and do that you should actually be in your ios devices file system so now all you have to do is actually go ahead and scroll over to where it says go um, and next once you go ahead and do that you should see where it says send command so we're just going to go to send command and once we do that the commands will actually be in the description below I have a black iPhone so the command for my iPhone is here if you want if you have a black iPhone and want to get the white Apple boot logo um, there's the command for that so as you guys can see I press send and it looks like nothing's happening but it something did happen so um, the way to actually test this out whether it worked or not is to just go ahead on our iOS device go ahead and power it off so just turn it off slide to uh, power off I have the black iPhone 5 as you guys can see and now all you have to do is just power it back on and as you guys can see it should take a fact and we should have the white Apple default logo as you guys can see so let's just turn this off so we're waiting until the wheel stops spinning and this is all in real time um, I didn't feel like spinning uh, you know speeding this up just because I want to show you guys what this um, legitimately looks like so um, we're just going through and um, you know powering off and powering on our device and there you go as you guys can see here we have the white Apple boot logo so this is on a black iPhone 5 again so um, you know the default for a uh, black iPhone is a black background so we did in fact change the um, you know the background so towards the end of this there actually um, is an issue where it changes back to black as you guys should be able to see fairly soon it will change back to black as you guys can see there it is so I don't know the reason for that I think it's um, the developer actually did explain it's a problem with um, it's a separate file I guess that Apple has and it was hard to tap into that so uh, for now I think there's a patch if you go on Cydia you might be able to find a patch I wasn't 100% sure where to find that but slide to unlock as you guys can see there you go there is your iOS device booted up so now I'm actually going to show you guys how to actually go ahead and undo this so the undo code will actually be down in the description below as well um, so go ahead and just type that in press send or copy and paste that and press send and as you guys can see it's just gonna say change fingerprint because we rebooted and now it's going to ask us to authenticate so we're just gonna type in a l p i n e which is the password go ahead and just press send and as you guys can see when we do that we should be over here and uh, the next way to actually tell um, that this has been put back to default is again to turn off our device and power it back on. So we're going to do that right now. So all I'm going to do is just power off the device and then we're going to turn it back on. So we're just waiting until, um, you know, 
this works. So anyway, guys, I think this is really, really awesome. And um, this is just a example so far of the first thing so far of what uh, the Apple serial, the Apple lightning cable serial can do or the Apple serial lightning cable, however you want to say it, um, you know, now that that's been broken successfully, they're able, um, jailbreakers or hackers, I guess you can say here, there's the default logo, as you guys can see from my device are actually able to go ahead and tap into these kinds of things. So this is really, really awesome because this is just showing off again, one of the most, you know, a, a great, amazing feature that you can actually go ahead and, uh, you know, use in iOS. Again, your device has to be jailbroken, but that's a given. Um, so if you guys didn't um, jailbreak and you missed it, go ahead and go down in the description below as I actually indicated earlier in the video to actually jailbreak. If you're on iOS 8.1.3 as of right now, which is the latest public firmware, there is not a jailbreak for the latest public firmware, unfortunately, and you cannot downgrade to 8.1.2 because 8.1.2 has stopped being signed by Apple. So um, really, if you're on 8.1.3, you have to wait until the next jailbreak public firmware which most likely will be 8.2 but I will keep my channel fully up to date and tell you guys exactly when a new jailbreak has been released all right guys thanks for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment area below and until next time this is David signing out peace Thank <laughs> you.